Good morning, and thank you for joining us on Renew, another daily devotional for you. It's Monday morning, and today's devotional is entitled Renewed Thoughts. Certainly, what we think about is what we become, and the Bible talks a lot about our mind and protecting our mind. And I want to read our scripture for today, familiar passage for many of you, and it's in Philippians chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4, and verse number 7 and 8. And verse number 7 says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. And then it says in verse number eight, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on those things. And I love that list that goes down there on things that we should be thinking of. Our inner thoughts, our words, even what's spoken to ourselves, it really matters. For it can hold the power to run our lives and dictate our choices. All the more reason to make sure that our thinking is based on truth, on what God says. When we fill our minds, our thoughts, our hearts with the right things, the wrong things won't have any room to enter. His word, his truth offers a protection or a guard over our hearts and lives for our decisions and our thoughts. It's not easy sometimes. The world can be really great at throwing stones insults, and discouraging words our way. We might get off track. We get distracted. We look to other sources to give us wisdom and direction or to make us feel better about ourselves. Many times we start buying the lie and speaking negativity or defeat over our own lives and those that are around us. We start sinking deeper and believing it's all true. God knows how vulnerable we are to attack and allowing our thoughts and words to work against us and in causing division or strife with others. Maybe that's why he gives uh, a certain wisdom to each and every one of us. And maybe that's why he desires for each and every one of us uh, in the book of James. It says, when we lack wisdom to ask. And I want to read a scripture for you real quick. In regards to this, uh, in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse number 23, and it says this, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. And that heart, that seed of our emotions, that uh, typically what's in our heart is what we have within our minds. God's saying here, hey, I want you to keep your heart, protect it, protect it with all diligence. He tells us here to set a guard, a gate over our hearts and our minds so that we don't allow just any thoughts or words to enter in. You know, I think about that song I sang as a child. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. For the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. What we see and what we hear that allows us to be able to think, uh, to, to allow thoughts to come in. And I wonder today, what are you allowing to come into your eyes? What are you allowing to come into your ears that is causing us? Are we, are we allowing God's word to come in? Are we allowing things of the world to come in, distractions to come in? How important it is that we see in that scripture, keep your heart with all diligence, guard it. Above all, protect it, keep it safe. Uh, uh, for everything you do that we see here in this scripture uh, are, are, are out of it are the issues of life. You know, the truth is, it's a choice that we make each and every day, all day, to protect our hearts and be careful with our thinking, to make sure our affections and energies are focused on the right things, 
to concentrate on the desires that push us towards God and along a wise path. All of our life depends on it. May God help us to walk in wisdom and grace so that our thoughts and words, all that we focus on, would bring honor to him and strength to our days. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today, this morning, waking us up. I pray this morning that each and every one of us would continue to do as we saw in Philippians 4, 8, to know that your peace is what uh, allows us to be able to, uh, to be able to have the right thoughts and our heart right. And I pray that that whole list that we saw there in that scripture in verse 8, that we would think on things that are holy and just and right. Lord, renew our thoughts today in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me ask you this question. What thoughts do you need God's help with to change today? Ask him to guard and protect your heart and from wrong thoughts, defeat, and lies. And pray. Ask God. Be intentional about it. Pray for his spirit to fill you afresh and to give you wisdom to hold on to this truth. A renewed, renewed thoughts. Remember our daily, uh, our, our, our scripture in Romans 12 verse 2 certainly ties in with our devotional today. Let's not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Would prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Have a wonderful day today and uh, continue to ask God to renew your thoughts.